Indhapreet Shokar with ARC Advisory Group and today we are in conversation with Dennis Nash. He is the president of Control Station. Welcome, Dennis. Thank you for having me today. So, Dennis, let's start off a conversation by learning a little bit more about you and your company. Uh, so, as you noted, my name is Dennis Nash. I'm president of Control Station. Control Station is a process diagnostic and optimization solutions company. Uh, we're long established in the market for PID uh, uh, process modeling and PID controller tuning. Uh, more recently, we've become the emergent leader in the market for control loop performance monitoring solutions. The company has deployed its solutions in uh, at facilities in roughly 70 different countries. Uh, we boast uh, half of the manufacturers listed in the Fortune 500. We're headquartered out of Manchester, Connecticut. So Dennis, you guys are expert when it comes to control loop performance mo monitoring. So when in today's world, we are talking about analytics all the time, data analytics. So how does you know, control loop performance monitoring fit in this world? It's a great question. Uh, what, what we've seen so far here at ARC is a host of vendors as well as uh, presenters who believe in uh, the future of data analytics. And control loop performance monitoring is capitalizing on that in terms mm -hmm. of fulfilling a need of those manufacturers. For the last decade, manufacturers have invested significant sums and energies in the capturing, in the collection, the storage of their, their data with the goal of mining that data to uncover new opportunities for, for growth and prosperity. Uh, control loop performance monitoring is just a small player in that overall uh, opportunity where we're mining the process data to uncover opportunities around PID controller performance that can have significant and long-lasting impact on whether efficiency, throughput, uh, downtime, etc. So Dennis, this is a relatively a mature market. So how do you think that uh, this control loop performance monitoring, are there any changes in this market or how is the technology changing? Sure. A couple of thoughts come to my mind. First, manufacturers are uh, looking to invest in more of the data from their uh, plant facilities. They're collecting and storing data from not just their primary control loops, but they're looking mm -hmm. at secondary and tertiary loops. That's on one side of the, the changes, but equally important, if not more so, is the manner by which manufacturers are investing in other technologies, Power BI, Tableau, mm -hmm and uh, looking to uh, aggregate data from various different sources, whether that be related to alarm management, PID control, uh, predictive analytics solutions to uncover other opportunities for optimization. Yeah, and then cloud technology is picking up. We are hearing about cloud technology all the time. So what do you think is the future for control loop performance monitoring as it relates to you know, cloud-based cloud, cloud -based offering? I, I was asking staff within the company recently what footprint cloud has in our customer base. And I was surprised that it was between 40 and 50%. So there's clearly uh, a growth trend within the interest for and adoption of cloud-based technologies. Where I see opportunity for control station, where I see uh, opportunity for analytics companies is to continue to pursue the cloud. There, there are great opportunities for us to find new ways of combining data from different uh, sources and uncovering those, those opportunities as I had mentioned earlier. I also think that the model of the cloud will open up new opportunities from a pricing or a licensing standpoint, which will allow manufacturers to capture greater value from the relationship with suppliers like Control Station. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you, Dennis. You know, we have heard from other sectors as well that for end users, it becomes really easy to adopt you know, cloud technology because sometimes it's easier to implement, it's cheaper as well. So I absolutely agree with you. But Dennis, what about non-continuous sector of process industries? Do you think CLPM can help over there as well? Absolutely. Historically, CLPM has been focused on the continuous side of the manufacturing marketplace. Uh, recently, Control Station introduced uh, an innovation called state-based analytics. What that allows manufacturers to do is to examine the performance characteristics of their PID control loops uh, on a state by state basis. So think of product A versus product B. Think of a power plant that has startup 
normal runtime and shutdown. Each of those have unique dynamic behaviors. State-based state analytics allows those users to apply CLPM-based technology to uncover the opportunities for process improvement. And that's a great opportunity for us, Control Station, to extend our reach from continuous into batch and other uh, non-continuous uh, sectors. Thank you, Dennis. I have asked all my questions. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. So we were in conversation with Dennis Nash, president of Control Station. Thank you for watching.